What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we're gonna be checking out and reviewing the Razer Nomo Pro speakers. The crazy overkill, top of the line speaker release from Razer. Remember a few months ago, we actually reviewed the regular Razer Nomo desktop speakers at around $100. That's their baseline version. This Pro, the Pro model is gonna be $500. So definitely hefty, but trust me, they sound amazing. Now, full disclosure, they sent this to me for review. It is not a keeper. It is just a loaner unit. So after this, they're going back. I've had it for around three, four weeks now with testing it in the office, in the entertainment setup, out in the living room. There's some things I like about it, some things I don't like about it. So if you want to find out more about these speakers, sit tight. We're going to go over it all. So you've probably seen these teased at CES 2018, beginning of the year. I know I even had some content on it back then. And out of the box, you get four main things to get this up and running. The two speakers, the subwoofer and their control pod. And at first glance, definitely a more aggressive look to this, but as you can see, uh, pretty much similar to the Razer Noma speakers, but now you have that tweeter up top and uh, it's pretty nice looking overall, the nice matte black finish. But the great things about these speakers is there's actually no buttons, no controls on the speakers themselves. That's all done separately right here on this control pod that they include. Here, the entire top wheel is a volume dial. You have your power button there. You can go through and switch between all the different inputs and stuff. And on the side, you also have an auxiliary in port as well as a headphone jack and the button for switching the source inputs. And with that headphone jack there, if you want to plug in a pair of headphones, it'll mute the speakers and you can have then full control of your audio as well from this control pod. Now, obviously for your gaming setup at your desk, having this there at an arm's reach is going to be really great because you can just quickly switch out those inputs, control all the volume and stuff. So the fact that they include this is really great for your desk setup. Then also, check out this massive subwoofer that is exclusive to the Pro model. The regular Nomo speakers do not have this, and this thing is absolutely insane. This massive cylindrical subwoofer just definitely packs a punch. And the sub here is where you're going to have all your connections on the back. This is where everything plugs into. You have the ports for the left and right speakers up top. The control pod plugs in here. You have your optical in, a USB to your PC, the power button, and then the actual power cable. And what's also great is you can connect these via Bluetooth to your smartphone or your PC and stuff like that if you want to have a wireless connection. Let's talk about the sound quality. For $500, you want these things to really impress you, and trust me, they do. And for my past few weeks using these, two things in particular stuck out to me. And uh, first is going to be the wide sound stage and the difference of the chambers here, which can help you clearly distinguish all the different, you know, frequencies and tones in your music. So for example, with the subwoofer, obviously it's going to be all your bass. This mid dome here is going to be for your mids and the tweeter up top is going to be for your treble and your higher frequencies in your music or your gaming, or whatever. And a lot of times what speaker companies will do is they'll fake that. This will be just purely aesthetic. It won't actually be your highs or your, you know, the trebles and stuff. That'll always be coming from the one dome. But here, the chambers are real. This is purely your highs and trebles, and this is your mids. And when you're sitting right next to these, you know, you have these in your room or wherever, you can really clearly tell that. And it kind of, you know, gives it a whole new listening experience. I'll show you what I mean. Listen closely and make sure you have headphones on. I will say these have a warmer sound signature that could be kind of drowned out sometimes by the overpowering bass. Because trust me, the woofer on this thing is insane. At 100%, you're gonna rock the house. I'm telling you that right now. I usually keep this, for example, at around 10% if I have this in my gaming setup. At around 15% volume, if I'm only sitting a few feet away from it, that's gonna be more than loud enough. Uh, at the same time, if you do have them at around, you know, 20% or a comfortable volume level for you, the sound quality is going to be amazing. You're going to clearly distinguish, you know, the left and right channels from where footsteps are coming from. If there's explosions and stuff, that subwoofer is going to definitely rock your chair, I'm telling you. I can only imagine how the upcoming battlefield is going to sound with these. And obviously with most Razer products, you can go into the Synapse software and customize the RGB lighting on it because yes, there's actual RGB lighting, you know, around the base of this, but that's not really a big thing here. 
You could also go in and change up the different EQs, make your own EQs if you want. They have presets for like gaming, music, movies. I'll save that EQ stuff for this next part, but if you haven't caught my drift by now, what I've been alluding to is that these are possibly too overkill for a bedroom setup or for like a desk setup because they just get very, very loud. And for $500, you don't wanna be keeping these at like 10% volume. These are gonna be best fit for something bigger. We can really push these to their potential. And that'll bring us into the next point of this review, using these in a living room or in your entertainment setup. And that's where I think these are gonna be utilized the best because you're gonna have more space, more room overall to really push these to their potential. So I have these seated on each side of my TV, probably around eight feet apart because I have a 65 inch TV in the living room. And they're gonna be then angled in position towards me where I'd be sitting on the couch. That kind of triangle setup is definitely gonna work best here. And it's the same setup process, but we have it hooked up to our TV via the optical cable. And the reason I said these are gonna be best utilized for a living room setup is because these things get crazy loud. Like we used to keep them at around 35 to 40% volume max, and that fills our room completely. So depending on how big or how small your space is, you are not gonna have an issue with hearing these. Same goes for the subwoofer. That's usually kept around 50 to 60%. I like a little bit more bass. So when I'm watching movies or playing games or whatever, I will bump it up a little bit, but the subwoofer here has some crazy punch. Now with my particular living room setup, uh, that little control pod isn't gonna be really well utilized unless I want it you know, draped across the entire floor in the living room, which is something I don't want. But if you're gonna be keeping it on your entertainment console where you have like a PS4 or an Xbox One or whatever, if you wanna make some quick adjustments there, you can. And that'll lead us then into console gaming with these, which I absolutely loved. I'm not too big of a console player anymore, but in a living room setup like this on a 65 inch TV, it's still awesome. And now with the speakers, the audio is just next level. And since the optical cable is plugged into the TV, the audio automatically transmits. You could also plug it into the back of your Xbox or your PS4 if you want, but just having it to the TV works fine. But the one problem in particular with these Nomo Pro speakers, and I think it is a huge, huge miss on their end, is the fact that there is no dedicated remote control with these that is wireless. Yes, they have that control pod, but that's you know wired. That's tethered to that subwoofer. They definitely should have included a wireless remote like you get with a sound bar, like you get with any sort of speaker that you would buy for a living room or for your TV. If that's what they're made for, it's just, you know, it's a major bummer to me. Now what they do to kind of counteract that is they actually released an app for um, Android and iPhones called the, you know, the Razer Nomo Pro. And this is a way to kind of make up for that because you do have all the control here. It's very user friendly. You can go in and change, you know, the connectivity, the bass levels, the volume levels. You could even change the RGB lighting, switch between the, uh, the sound EQs, and even in here, make your own EQs. So it's good that they have that, but I don't want to use my phone as a remote control. So if my phone's dead or my phone's just not on me, I can't change the volume or anything without having to actually get up and go to the control pod itself and then adjust it manually. Just a definite, definite bummer. I wish I had a wireless remote control with this. Uh, but like I said here with the EQs, kind of like what I said before, make your own. Uh, but I'm definitely more of a fan in this living room setup using their THX setting. I think that sounds fantastic. And if you want, you can go in and kind of tune it because they do have some pre-made ones um, that for console gaming and for watching movies in particular, I thought they were very, very good, which was their game, their movie setting. So it's good that they have actual, you know, worthy uh, EQs that you can use, but just give us that wireless remote control. That would be so good. So at the end of the day, $500 is a tough pill to swallow. That's a lot of money for anybody, really. And could you go out and buy a pair of Yamaha speakers or audio engine speakers or whatever, any pair of audiophile speakers out there for the living room that are gonna be kind of a better value for your money? Yes, but keep in mind this is Razer and these are gonna be, you know, more for gamers. And you have that flexibility using these in the living room, kicking back on a nice TV, filling the room, console gaming, watching movies, or if you want, bring them into your room and have them for your desk setup. Even though, like I said, definitely kind of overkill for a bedroom setting. I think just the regular Nomo uh, Chroma speakers can be best for that. Uh, but you can, you have that option here with these. Very easy to use, but still $500 is just a lot. Uh, the sound EQs are all really good. I mentioned it before, but usually in a lot of reviews and stuff like that, I will kind of stick to just the preset sound settings. But here their EQs are actually a lot, you know, a lot better than I expected and they're more fitting. You do have the chroma lighting, uh, which is gonna be a pro for some people if you wanna switch it up. But I mean, obviously not gonna be needed. And uh, that subwoofer, no matter who you are, packs some serious bass that you're definitely gonna enjoy. Then as for the con, the big thing here is just gonna be not including that dedicated wireless remote control. I think it's a huge missed opportunity in any sort of living room setup like this or any sort of just you know, speaker setup. For the living room, you're gonna need a remote control for that. 
They have the app and the app is great, but it's not a remote control. And they also have the control pod that is also not a wireless remote control. So big bummer there, but they do sound great. They are very loud. You get a lot of punch, a lot of great clarity, and they're made for gamers. That's the whole Razer thing. But $500 is gonna be just a lot of money for anybody out there. You're gonna have to decide if that price is worth it for you. And guys, I'll wrap it up with my review of the Razer Nomo Pro Chroma speakers. Hope you enjoyed. If you wanna check it out, I will put a link for you in the description down below. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up and follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.